With all the options in the keyboard space, just where does the GMMK2 sit? And should you buy it? <laughs> Let's find out. So here it is. This is the GMMK2 made by Glorious. If you saw my last video, you might've heard me mention it. It's a hot swappable mechanical keyboard that comes fully built. The GMMK2 also comes in a 96% version that's a little bit bigger, as well as three other colors, including black, white, and pink. Looking at the outside, you can see the top frame is built of aluminum and the bottom is built of a polymer. The keycaps that are included are shine through ABS double shot keycaps in an OEM profile. I'm not gonna lie, they're probably some of my favorite keys that I've seen so far. Well, at least on a gaming keyboard. When it comes to the switches, Glorious actually went with their own linear switches called the Glorious Foxes. The Glorious Fox linears, they're pretty smooth and responsive. They have a 45 gram operating force and a 60 gram bottom mount. To me, they're easy to use for long periods of time or those long gaming sessions. Foxes chose a different housing than their typical Glorious switches like the Pandas or the Lynx. They have a see-through housing, which of course is to maximize RGB exposure. Now that I'm listening a little bit closer, they feel lubed, but you can actually hear a bit of scratch. I'm sure you could lube that out if you really wanted to, but it's not that bad. Embrace the scratch. <laughs> Moving along, the typing angle on this keyboard is about six degrees. If you flip out the foldable feet on the bottom, now you're looking at about 11 degrees. The mounting style on the GMMK2 is a tray mount, and the stabilizers that come with it, unfortunately, they're clip-on, but you can mod it and add your own screw-in stabilizers. If you so I do have a sound test coming up, so stick around, but I do want to start with a couple other things that I do like about this keyboard. This thing is pretty well built. The shine through keycaps are really a nice touch if you like RGB, and they're actually pretty nice. <laughs> and if you look closely, there are even some reminders of alternate functions printed right on the front of some keys, which is severely underrated and something I think more companies should probably do. The biggest benefits of the size is that you have so much more room to move your mouse. So that could be another advantage when it comes to gaming. So picking it up, it's pretty lightweight, but it's still hefty enough not to blow off your desk if you crack a window or something. <laughs> it is compatible with QMK. That means the world is pretty much yours when it comes to creating custom macros and shortcut keys and things like that. Glorious actually has its own program called Glorious Core as well. So Glorious Core is actually pretty user friendly. So for those people who don't want to go too deep down learning how to use custom macros, I think this will work for you just fine. It also lets you change a lot of the RGB functions just right in the app, so that's pretty cool. If we're talking about RGB, it's definitely the star of the show when it comes to this keyboard. So whether you're using Glorious Core or just using the functions on the keyboard itself, you can cycle through a few modes that should, you know, spark your fancy enough. Speaking of which, I think it's about time I address the elephant in the room. Now let's get into some of the things that sort of bothered me. So when I was ordering it, the size seemed like a great idea at first, but if you have bigger hands, you probably want to consider a bigger board. Not that the keys are any different in sizing, but it's just a lot more comfortable with a board that has a broader design. Just trust me, the 96% might be better, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> I think it's the fact that there's no bezel or frame around the keys <laughs> that's bugging me. But you might actually prefer that since you can see all the RGBs at a glance. Speaking of RGB, this board has north facing switch sockets. Of course, this is a plus when it comes to the shine through keycaps, but if you want to exercise your creativity and preference, you're probably going to hit a ceiling eventually when it comes to certain key profiles like Cherry. Some Cherry keycaps just might not fit well. And seeing that this is one of my personal favorite, as well as one of the most common high quality keycap options you have, that's a huge minus, especially on a board of this build quality. But I understand why. It's to utilize the shine through keycaps, which is arguably the best part about this keyboard. A lot of the times when keyboards come with removable USB-C ports, they also have wireless capabilities. This one, unfortunately, does not. So with that being said, you know what time it is. I'm gonna go ahead and do a nice little uh, sound test for you and let you be the judge.
So what are your thoughts, man? Make sure you let me know in the comments. So for the GMMK2, I don't really do any crazy mods to it or any mods at all, actually. But if I'm being honest, I don't really think this keyboard is for that crowd. So my stabilizers came in relatively decent, but there's definitely some tuning that I could still do to this board that would make it sound that much better. But given the size of this keyboard and even the case, I'm starting to get the strangest suspicion that this is not that much of a customizable keyboard after all. But to be honest, it's pretty much good to go for what it does, so I wouldn't overthink it. It's a great gaming keyboard that looks good, feels good, works good, and I guess it sounds okay. I'm spoiled though. Honestly, if you like it and it suits all your needs, sure, grab it, it's pretty affordable. There are better options out there, but of course there are many worse options out there as well. If you're still typing on some crusty keyboard that's not mechanical, this is gonna be a great choice for you still. So there is a lot of competition, so you never know, maybe the GMMK Pro V2 will come out this year. But don't quote me on it, we'll just have to see. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing because honestly, I have so many more reviews coming out soon. And if you didn't catch my last one, it's right here. So thanks for watching and I guess I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.